<laughs> so, did any lady beetles overwinter with you? This is about the, oh, I'd say probably about the 30th lady beetle I've released. They will go very thirsty. A lot of them went for my um, rain catchment and drowned themselves, which I thought was very strange because I just come out, whoops, he's gone. I just come out in the yard and released them. So let me say hello. Oh, wait, he didn't fly away yet. <laughs> Sometimes they need a little encouragement. Yeah. So this is like magic hour. Let me go in a sunny spot. So the, uh, it's been raining all day. Wait a minute, there's a big truck going down the highway or something. Anyway, it's been raining all day, and then it's like, ah, oh, the clouds just parted, and it's the most incredible, brilliant, fresh, alive energy out here right now. It's crazy. It's just so beautiful. And the birds are so happy, and everything's so clean and watered. So let me show you right quick what I'm doing and what my hopes are. And this was last year's um, fairy garden. And um, it, was all, it started out as a salsa garden and then it was too shady for salsa. And so I ended up moving the salsa buckets out that way into the sun. And this became a fairy garden that I just um, got completely caught up and all zenned out. And then I was moving uh, little patches of moss over here for the yards and whatnot. So it became a nary, uh, a nary. Yeah, a nary, a nary foam garden. No, a fairy gnome garden. And so now I'm expanding on it. So I'm creating this, I've got to still put a log up across here, but um, all the trees that I'm cutting down from the pond are getting brought up here and I'm putting in a fence. Now, some of you remember I had a fence here two years ago when we first moved in and I put in a pink moon garden. Well, it was just completely shady. And then this is where they had to put in the electric lines. And so my fence got tore down, <laughs> but that's okay because there's lots of wood here and I'm rebuilding my fence. Look at my crazy gate. I love my little gate. It, sh it was shutting on its own, but now it's, there it goes. <laughs> So, like I was saying, it was pouring rain earlier, and this is my first chance to come outside and inspect yesterday's work. And so this is going to be my cottage garden. But remember what I said, I'm not buying things. This cottage garden just has to come to me. I just have to open myself up to receive it, and it has to come to me. So I saw a picture, I don't know if it was on Pinterest or where um, it was, but it shows a fence, a rail, a simple rail fence like this. And then there's a second rail here, this low, and then they put in diagonal sticks all along here. Oh, it's so beautiful, y'all. Oh, if it wasn't copyrighted or whatever, I would post it. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. So I'm copying that, I absolutely love it. And then I told my husband for my birthday I want pink aromatic climbing roses. And then I remembered, <laughs> I'm trying not to buy anything. So they're about 30 bucks a pop. So I was thinking, how am I gonna get roses for my cottage garden? Well, let me take you over and show you. So this is where Queen Maline was last year. She was over here and her seven um, uh, knights um, were all up and down in here. And so you can see some of the knights are coming back. I have several right here, which is way super cool. And then Queenie, I moved her seeds. Uh, well, actually you could still see her seed heads. That's her uh, scepter laying there. So, I don't know, but I think those might all be mull mullen seed. I hope not. I'd have to do a lot of sacrificing if it is. But anyway, let me show you the point of the video. Um, if you were with me last year, you remember I discovered the difference between the 
uh, invasive, and I believe they're Japanese, I'm not positive, but the invasive white roses. And I had two big, beautiful shrubs, and I was all excited, and then they turned out to be the white invasive rose, and I had to cut them down. And so, um, I was kind of sad about that. But, look at this little girl. Look at her, can you see her? Anyway, all up and down the front of my property, the pink, um, native roses and I don't remember the name of it but they grow all down the front of my property and I'm like if they're given the right conditions and now that we've cut down so many trees over there I wonder how well they'll transplant well I came out and looked at her earlier and look she's growing so she transplanted just fine she was just growing down in a ditch then I put her up here she's gonna be amazing She's going to greet you when you first come uh, pull up in my driveway. So, yeah, if I have enough sun over there, I'm going to turn that area into a cottage garden. And since we have removed so many trees to put in the cabin, I'm really hoping that I get my cottage garden. And I'm really hoping these are not all mullen. <laughs> I don't think they are. I think it's too early for mullen to sprout. But uh, I have plenty of mullen. I don't need that many. I don't know what these little babies are. Hopefully, maybe it's nettle. Ooh, nettle pesto. Oh, look, blowstone. All right, guys. Love and light, blessed be.